Mum? Aiden, I'm here. Oh, good. After that flight delay, I was starting to get concerned. Don't worry. Everything's fine. And they're looking after you? Better than at Silverstone. Good, because you were my lucky charm there, Mum. And I'm hoping you do the same here. I'll try, love. Now just do what you do, and everything will be great. I know. Mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. <laughs> I'll try. Have a great race, Aiden. I'll see you after. I'm so pleased you're here, Mum. This one's for you, eh? How's it feeling out there, Aiden? Yeah, good. I think we can start to push a little. Uh, where's Casper? Ahead of you. Don't worry about Casper, Aiden. Let's just improve your current position. Yeah, copy. Nice move. Good job. Casper is directly ahead of you. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. It's clear from anyone watching either in the stands or at home the determination on show from Haas and Aidan Jackson today. Now you're not wrong there, Ant. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season and his driving today impeccable. Here's a test room now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two and his teammates after him. Willie Budge! Hold position, Aidan. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before! Two teammates wheel to wheel! Keep it clean! Inches separating them and they crash! Oh, they've come together in spectacular style! And they're both out of the race!
Close the door. Sit down. What the hell was going on out there? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you both. Acting like... like a couple of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, Not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're both out, do you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Go away. Hey. Hey. So, what did he say? Threatened to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You've survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. I'll see you later.
the season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth, but Haas still hopeful that the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. You did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kasper. You'll make those places back? Yeah, for sure. But I shouldn't have to. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not morning where Daddy is, right? Mummy says you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> That's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall off? Uh, Mommy can explain that. Uh, can I speak to her? Don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Hey, qualifying not so good, huh? Uh, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now. It's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Something's not right. Understood, Casper, we're on it. It's the gearbox. I lost the gear. Push on, Casper, we're assessing. Just push on best you can. I'll try. Right, we've looked at the gearbox issue, but I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Try and drive around it, we'll just have to hope for the best. Remember that you have a lot of torque in these power units, so you should be able to stay in higher gears for a lot of the lap. Four laps of fuel remaining.
the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Well, what's happened there to Kasper Ackerman? Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating at. Yeah, looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Well, this isn't the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. So, not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? Well, it was clearly an issue with the gearbox. Not a great place to be as a driver, but we'll work on it, I'm sure. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? Well, this is where experience comes in. You just have to switch off, be mindful, but Try and ignore what is going on around you. To concentrate only on the problem at hand and hope for the best. While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aiden? That was last season. It's no secret that Aiden and I had a few run-ins. But that's the risk when you put two drivers together for the first time. I don't like to look back, only forward. I'm sure he's learned a lot, and we'll see what happens this season. Appreciate your time.